All right, everybody, we got Sean Walker here. So please use the raise hand function and we'll begin. We'll start off with Zach Dooley. Hey, Sean, uh, we talked with Todd yesterday and he singled you out as a guy who has used his legs and his skating to join the rush more offensively. Have, has that been a point of emphasis for you lately? And, and have you kind of noticed that in your own game? Yeah, um, you know, it's kind of been obviously talked about the production from the defense a lot lately. So. Uh, that's definitely been a point of emphasis. And I mean, it kind of goes hand in hand with the systems that we want to play. So that's something that I can do more often. I'm definitely going to try to continue to do it. Another element of that is kind of, you know, a shooting mentality from the blue line. Like your chances and your shots have kind of gone up over this last month or so. Has that been maybe another area of the game where, where you're looking to provide an uptick? Yeah. You know, I think going back to last year, that's kind of the mindset that I've always wanted to have. Um, and then coming into this year, I didn't really do that as much. So just been trying to go back to that lately um, and been getting some good bounces. So going to, again, continue to do that the rest of the season. And, uh, you know, one of the, one of your teammates is approaching a pretty, pretty major milestone. Um, you know, a thousand points is incredible by any stretch. You know, what are just your general thoughts on, on Andre Kopitar as he approaches that, that milestone? <laughs> uh, I mean, it's unbelievable uh, to even be on the ice with them. Um, you know, I don't think you can say enough about the person and player that he is, um, to watch him night in and night out produce at the level that he does is amazing. So, uh, very excited to see him reach that milestone. And it's something that's pretty special to be, uh, be even on the same team with. So it'd be nice to get in on it. That's for sure. Appreciate it. Thank you. Next up is Daryl Evans. Hey, Sean, uh, last game uh, against the Coyotes, you guys looked like a completely different team than you were against Anaheim, even in the game that you won. Um, what can you say that, uh, why was the team so different in those in those games? Um, I think it just kind of comes down to the systems. You know, I think if you look at that first period we had, our, our forecheck was really active. Uh, we kept a lot of plays alive and stuff like that. So I think, you know, when we're going to be a good team, it's when everybody's on the same page and our systems are working the way they should. So I think we got to go night in and night out with that mindset. And on a personal basis, uh, in the games remaining here in the regular season, uh, do you have any personal goals that, uh, things that you're trying to accomplish, uh, or at least, uh, do it within your own game? Yeah. I mean, obviously I want to be a solid defenseman and contribute offensively. So, um, I think like it's been talked about, trying to get a lot more shots to the net and use my legs to create opportunities. So as long as I'm playing solid defense and can contribute offensively, that's kind of the mindset going forward. All right. Good luck tonight. Thank you. Next up is Jim Fox. Hey, Sean, if I could just dig a one level deeper there uh, regarding playing with Andre, usually when we talk to a forward, we ask him about his line mates. What about as a defenseman? And what you appreciate about Andre? Um, I mean, there isn't, again, you could just go up and down his game and appreciate every single thing he does, what he does in the D zone, what he does in the O zone. Um, you know, he's very smart defensively. And then once he gets the puck and can go into the other other zone, and he uh, keeps a lot of plays alive. You know, he's a big guy. He's hard to defend against. Um, you know, you want to be out there with that line, especially with him. Um, I think it's easy to say that he creates pretty much every time he has the puck on his stick. So uh, it's it's always fun to watch when Andre's playing and definitely want to be out there with him. Thank you. Next up is Patrick O'Neill. Hey, Wax, uh, I'm, I'm going to jump in on this uh, Kopi milestone. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Um, is the, is the mood any different in the room or guys talking about it or is, how's Kopi handling it? Keeping it pretty chill. He's keeping it pretty chill. You know, there is, uh, some jokes and stuff about if, if he would have wanted it to be on an empty net or not. Um, and you know, he just, he just laughs it off. You know, he's a very humble guy, but you know, it's obviously something that's very special and everybody's definitely talking about it. So it'll be, uh, exciting to keep an eye out for it. It's not like you can just feed him, right? I mean, it's, you know, it, it, you got to kind of let the play develop. But um, like you said, you want to be in on it. Yeah, I mean, that'd be a pretty uh, cool milestone to be a part of. So uh, I'll be excited for anybody that's in on it. But uh, it would definitely be cool to be on it. 
a race to get the puck when when it gets in the net exactly i'm sure anybody would be jumping to grab the puck as well yeah for sure hey thanks good luck thank you